I go back before SPNN. Its original broadcast entity was called CASP, C-A-S-P, which stands for Cable Access St. Paul. We had to get an office, we had to get equipment, we had to establish regulations, we had to hire staff. So it was the very beginnings. I joined immediately after broadcasting school. As a member, I was able to take out camera equipment and that began my whole broadcast career. Uh, when I decided to make my first documentary feature in 2019, SPNN was my literal first supporter. So I go around wherever I go and any other fellowship, you know, just always screaming from a mountaintop. So I got involved through the youth media program. I taught like a, how to make a documentary with young people. And then, I don't know, other things would pop up like in your own voice or like, I don't, like other things that were just like, how do you engage young people with media so that they can craft their own stories that they want to tell. One of the fallouts of the American war in Vietnam is many Hmong people uh, were forced out of their homeland and, and they found refuge, many of them found refuge here in St. Paul. But the parents at that time in the 80s, they were having trouble navigating. So young Hmong kids who had learned English started coming into cable access and saying, I want to do a show that will explain to my mother and father how to ride a bus. And I want to do it in Hmong. And so that's, the, the, the Hmong people realized the value of community access television when they didn't have a, the written resources to otherwise communicate to their folks. I remember Kevin said something to me like um, that he loved to watch me as a youth worker because he was like, if I could be as good as Joanna, then I know I'm doing it right. And that has stayed with me forever because I didn't think anybody saw me that way. Like, I you know, didn't necessarily think I was great. At youth work, I was like, that was a reflection of, that I wouldn't get. I, I wouldn't get anywhere else. Um, and so that's always stayed with me. But my favorite memory of SPNN was when uh, they hosted Robert Townsend for the uh, a screening of Five Heartbeats. And the audience was great. The audience was nice and black. And Robert was telling like some stories. He told some stories that had to do with starting off as a filmmaker and overcoming certain adversities in the industry. And he told the stories uh, as lessons to keep going, to not give up if this is your passion, if this is your dream. It's hard to believe that SPN has been around for 40 years. I think that we have grown, we have uh, blossomed into a part of the community that's invaluable. I'm Tommy Franklin, director, writer, you know, produce, I guess. My name is Joanna Kohler, and I began my experience with SPNN probably back when I was 22. My name is Jackie Maddox, or Jacqueline Maddox, but I'm known as Lady J on uh, KFAI Radio. Uh, my name is Neil Gosman. <clears throat> I was the first executive director at what was then called Cable Access St. Paul. CNN, congratulations on 40 years. I hope it's another 40 and another 40 after that. So I hope that community does what they've always done and rallies behind you and your support of uh, artists and filmmakers really trying to make the projects that they're passionate about. And uh, we, need, we need SPNN and we'll always need SPNN. So thank you.